is the activity I'm doing getting me to where I want to go? So that's what we're gonna talk about in this quick video today. I'm gonna to give you three tips to ensure that your actions are not just busy and ensure that your actions are productive and getting you, your team, your, your business and organization to where you ultimately wanna go. Set the stage here a little bit. Many of us have been conditioned to think that busyness is productivity. Looking at our, our education system with all the work, all the schoolwork that we're getting, then the nine to five in corporate, we're paid often based on our time, but many times traditionally. So we're looking at, okay, things I'm doing with my time equal uh, productivity payment. But when you're in a leadership role or you're a business owner, it, it just isn't true. And it's also not really true when you're, you're in these type of roles as well. So start off here. First thing to do to be productive is you have to set your course. And sometimes I know things are crazy, right? You got a million things to do, a million demands. So you just start diving into things. You just start working. Okay, I got to do this. I got to do that. I know I want to get this new program off the ground. So let me just start woo, 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 going through all of it. Stop. You need to set your course, set your goals, set your vision. What is it that you're going towards? Having that target is what's ultimately going to guide your actions. Second piece here is you have your target. Sometimes we set that target and then we go back into that crazy hamster wheel syndrome where we're doing all the things and we're not picking our head back up. You have to pick your head up from the work you're doing on a regular basis. I'm talking about putting this in your calendar because two things can happen here. We start doing these actions and rather than going this way, we start going that way. Or over time, sometimes we change our, org our business, our organization changes, so our goals need to change. And sometimes we're shooting towards goals that are no longer in alignment or are not going to help us get the ultimate result that we want. So regularly picking your head up, making sure that you're aiming towards that target. Last here is checking in with busyness. Is busyness a distraction? Sometimes we use busyness, we use work as a crutch because maybe we don't wanna face something in our personal lives or sometimes perhaps we are feeling uncomfortable with, with tasks that we know are gonna take our business, our company, ourselves to that next level, but they scare us. <laughs> or perfectionism comes up, we're afraid to fail. So it's like, oh, let me just work on the company website, even though the company website's not gonna matter if there's not people lined up, an audience that are going to see it. So really being honest with yourself, are you using busyness as a crutch for any aspect of your life? And diving in deeper, exploring that what that's about and giving yourself the, the love, the support, and the encouragement to do the things that are going to add more fulfillment to your life and also take your goals to the next level. So feel free, let us know in the comments if you have another tip to add to this. What keeps you productive and makes, keeps you accountable to not falling into the busy trap?